This is section 32 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. China and the Philippines by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. At a dinner given in the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, December 1900, Winston Spencer Churchill was introduced by Mr. Clemens. For years I've been a self-appointed missionary to bring about the union of America and the motherland. They ought to be united. Behold America, the refuge of the oppressed from everywhere, who can pay fifty dollars admission, anyone except a Chinaman, standing up for human rights everywhere, even helping China let people in free when she wants to collect fifty dollars upon them. And how unselfishly England has wrought for the open door for all, and how piously America has wrought for that open door in all cases where it was not her own. Yes, as a missionary I've sung my songs of praise, and yet I think that England sinned when she got herself into a war in South Africa which she could have avoided, just as we sinned in getting into a similar war in the Philippines. Mr. Churchill, by his father, is an Englishman. By his mother he is an American. No doubt a blend that makes the perfect man. England and America. Yes, we are kin and now that we are also kin in sin there is nothing more to be desired the harmony is complete the blend is perfect end of china and the philippines by mark twain read by john greenman